Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here. We're going to do a beer review. Alright. This one here is by Abita Brewing. And it's called Giacomo Juicy IPA. It's a double dry hopped IPA. And this one is... 6% alcohol by volume. They're from um, Abita Springs, LA. And uh, it's got a code on the bottom. Uh, picked up a um, six pack of this at uh, Total Wine More for like know, 12 bucks out the door, something like that. It's a pretty good, fair price. Oh, here we go. Um, yeah, what is this here? I don't know what that is. I'm looking for a date. I'm not seeing it though, but it must be fresh because uh, it just came in. So uh, yeah, there's no other literature on there. Last train home. Yeah, no other literature there. Uh, this is what the, the can looks like. All right, so let's check it out. Never had this before, so first time for this one. I think uh, I would, uh, I would definitely put a beat up beers into the budget craft, budget craft beer category for sure. All right. Second. All right, there we go. Have to have the background going there, back background music. All right, so we have a good size, big, frothy, creamy, silky head. Very tight looking. Few bubbles popping open. It's very creamy looking. We have a hazy kind of light orange color. It looks like a juicy IPA. Hazy, juicy. But you can't see the sharpness of the light through it, so not totally hazed out. Okay, let's check out some aroma action here. Yeah, it smells nice. Uh, nice, you know, fruity kind of tropical kind of notes. You know, citrusy. Pineapple, pretty much right up front. Ooh, this smells really good. It's like um, guava or something coming through big time. Pineapple and guava, maybe some grapefruit I'm picking up there. Even like some kind of stone fruit or passion fruit or something. Kind of like a juicy, like a almost like Starburst candy. Really nice smelling, it really is. All kinds of uh, tropical aromas going here. Let's get a hit. Cheers. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, uh, pretty much uh, the same in the sip. Pretty much is. Uh, like the aroma but not quite as juicy in the sip as it smelled it's got some fizziness on the tongue yeah the aroma was a little uh, more like more uh it, it smelled better than it actually tastes put it that way it still tastes good though Almost that kind of, I don't mean this in a bad way, but kind of like dish soap kind of uh, fruitiness. It don't taste like soap by all means, I'm just saying. You know, that kind of aroma, as if, if, if it were to taste like anything, that's what it would kind of resemble that a little bit.
pretty nice. It is only 6%, so you're not going to pretty much, I mean, if you're picking up booziness at 6%, raw alcohol notes, then you got issues, but this one has no raw alcohol notes or nothing weird like that. It's a, it's a well-made beer. Um, medium mouthfeel, but overall it's a little thin, a little watery. Picking up a slight kind of malty breadiness or something. Floralness, but yeah, that kind of lemon zesty, kind of whatever tropical kind of dish soap kind of vibe going. It's interesting. It's good though. This is a very good sessionable type beer, or or maybe a beginner, uh, you know, someone that wants to try an IPA for the first time. This might be a good candidate, you know. Let's see if we can get some more aromas going here. I think I'm getting some floralness and stuff also. Yeah, now the breadiness of the malts coming through pretty good. It's nicely balanced. It's just not like over the top, you know, like just punching in the face with the taste and aroma. I mean, the aroma was almost a, you know, a nice, it was almost like a top shelf beer type aroma, but the, the, where it lost it was when, when you take the sip. It, it's not quite there. That goes back down to the budget craft. It's good though. Nice lace, nice uh, lacing on the glass there. Really good head retention. It's tasty. So that's pretty much what I got on this puppy. And um, I'll swell it one more time. See if I can pick up anything else that I could really let you know put a finger on here. That's pretty much what I can pinpoint, and that's pretty much what I'm coming up with. Overall, I like it though. The only thing that I really don't like so far about this beer is when you sip it, it has a lot of fizziness on your tongue. Excuse me. I'm the kind of guy that I don't really like that a lot. I like it more smooth. It's almost like a soda pop type busyness, but the taste is pretty darn good. So with that said, I'm gonna give this um, I'm gonna give it a solid 3.9 stars out of five. So that's my story. I'm gonna stick with that. And um, appreciate y'all that stopped by, check out the videos, and uh, you know hit the like, subscribe option if you'd like, a uh, little bell, whatever, all that crazy stuff. I could drink the hell out of this, for sure. Have a good day. Later.